another election season looms before us. Five hundred and forty eight constituencies in focus, the familiar suspense over names, tickets, and battles. But somehow, two from the crowd attract a special attention. Somehow, always manage to stand out. They say change is the only constant, right? But somehow, the Lok Sabha constituencies of Ameti and Rai Bareilly have to fight this logic. Always seen as the bastion of the Gandhi family. But how long can you defy the inevitable? People with political resolve always jump into the fire. They don't run from it. Ameti was lost on Rahul's watch in 2019. And this year, Sonia has exited from Rai Bareilly. Is there a Gandhi in the future of these two heartland towns? Or is that now a thing of the past? To know the course of future, we have to look deep into the past. A series of events that shaped how Ameti and how Rai Bareilly became Gandhi bastions. It was their tryst with the Gandhis. Rajiv Gandhi ki karambhumi thi. Meri aur Rahul ki karambhumi hai. Rai Bareilly aur Ameti paise mera ghar jaisa hai. To main poochna chahti hu ki kya apne apne ghar apne ghar aana jana ka kya koi inkar kar sakta hai? The seat which she says embraced her warmly in her difficult times, the otherwise obscure town of Rai Bareilly has become a legacy that the Congress bastion has held on to since just years after India's independence. Years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. Jawaharlal Nehru's son-in-law, Feroz Gandhi, won the first ever Lok Sabha election from this backward class dominated constituency back in 1952. And it was the beginning of an unusually loyal relationship between a political family and a dusty heartland town. Voters of Rai Bareilly next welcomed Nehru's daughter, Indira Gandhi, in 1967 and then again in 1971. But a national upheaval came right after when emergency was declared in 1975. Since Rai Bareilly was Indira's constituency, it became the epicenter of a furious political battle that would essentially shape the India of that time. And it began in the country's courts. You had socialist leader and freedom fighter Raj Narayan filing a case against Indira in the Allahabad High Court, accusing her of electoral malpractices. 
in what was deemed a monumental upset for the rising star that was Indira, the High Court found her guilty. The impact obviously quaked the Indira Congress and paved the way for her loss of Rai Bareilly to the Janta Party's Raj Narayan in 1977. It was a historic judgment nonetheless. One that found Indira Gandhi guilty on two counts of electoral malpractice. It invalidated Indira's election and disbarred her from office for six years. Raj Narayan stood triumph in front of the world press. The people rejoice and reaffirm their faith in the democratic institutions of India. I accept the judgment with humility. These were Indira's most turbulent years and they called for a desperate attempt to stay afloat. In 1980, Indira Gandhi contested from two seats, from Raibareli and from Medak, then in undivided Andhra Pradesh, today in Telangana. Indira won both seats and not unexpectedly, she retained the former. Fully aware that the Hindi heartland was not only a bigger deal, but extremely crucial to the future of the Congress party and to her political legacy. These were frenetic times of change and of tragedy. During the 1980 polls, the Congress bagged 51 out of the 85 seats of Uttar Pradesh. After Indira Gandhi's assassination in 1984, the Congress swept the state, winning 83 out of the 85 seats, a towering performance that has never again been matched even to this date. This was in Uttar Pradesh that had overwhelmingly chosen the Congress and had articulated its sympathy for the Gandhis. Jo rivalry Indra ji ne sajaya, wo Indra ji ki bhaktigat ruchi thi. Uske pehle unke pati Firuz Gandhi sahab yahan chunaav ladte the. Pani Jawaharlal Nehru to Fulpur se ladte the. To rivalry mein kuch tha nahi. Main to ye kahunga jo kuch bhi rivalry mein adubhi karan hua, vikas hua, chahe wo ITI ho, chahe AIMS ho, chahe tamam mile jo aayi. Rail coach factory car khana aya, isab Gandhi paribar ki te. The Congress was the dominant party of Uttar Pradesh for well over three decades, barring the 1977 Lok Sabha election, where interestingly, the socialist leader Raj Narayan defeated Indira Gandhi in the anti-emergency wave. But barring that one moment, all the way from 1952 up to 1989, the Congress was a dominant force. Indira Gandhi passes away in 1984 and 1989, to my mind, is a defining moment. That's when the Congress finds itself suddenly on the back foot in Uttar Pradesh as the forces of Mandal and later Mandir begin to rise in UP. So that's the turning point. But that remarkable high was also ironically the beginning of a steady downslide the Congress slumped to 54 out of 85 seats in 1989 and then further down to 51 seats in 1991. Flash forward a quarter century, the Indian National Congress had a new face leading the party. Former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's daughter-in-law and Rajiv Gandhi's wife, Sonia Gandhi. <laughs> In 1999, Sonia Gandhi took charge as the leader of opposition in parliament. That was also the year that Sonia made her political debut by contesting from two Lok Sabha seats, Karnataka's Bellari and the family bastion of Ameti in Uttar Pradesh. केंद्रीय गृहमंत्री और बीजेपी के वरिष्ठ नेता लालकृष्ण आडवाणी ने आज साफ कहा कि सोनिया गांधी की विदेशी पैदाइश का मुद्दा उठाना पूरी तरह से जायज है दुनिया के अनेक लोकतंत्रीय देशों में 
अगर बंधन है कि कोई विदेशी मूल का नागरिक वहाँ के ऊंचे पदों पर नहीं होना हो सकता यहाँ पर भी वैसा बंधन लगाया जाना चाहिए आपके विदेशी मूल का मुद्दा उठाया जा रहा है बीजेपी ने और उसका आपकी पार्टी भी इसमें बट गई इसको लेकर तो लगता है कि कोई प्रभावित पड़ेगा प्रभाव लगता है मुझे नहीं लगता है मुझे नहीं लगता कि कुछ प्रभावित करेगा As with her mother-in-law all those years back, Sonia Gandhi swept both seats. But she chose to consciously represent Amethi. In the unignorable and difficult landscape of India's most electorally crucial state. And that viewer was a new beginning for Sonia Gandhi. And for the Congress party too, it was a big, big road ahead. In 2004, alongside the UPA coalition's surprise rise to power, Sonia Gandhi decided to shift back to Raibareli. papers from Raibareli, which is, of course, the constituency from which my mother-in-law and before my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, Feroz Gandhi, uh, worked in that constituency and then herself, of course. Well, uh, emotional in the sense that uh, I had come here with my husband in 1980 when he filed his nomination papers from here and then of course after his assassination um, I came I came only in 1998 uh, and uh, naturally uh, while Rahul was filing his nomination paper a great deal of memories uh, were flashing to my mind of the past she was welcome back clearly with the open arms for the next 15 years sonia would prove unshakable from the stronghold sonia ji ne aswasan diya hai aur vishwas dilaya hai yahan ki janta ko ki yahan ke liye jo vikas ka vaada yahan par jo chunav hua hai koi jat par nahi hua tha yahan jo chunav hua tha vikas pe hua janta kisi ki nahi hai janta vikas ki hai aur jitna kaam ki hai sonia ji hi raibareli se jeetenge sonia gandhi ne kaam kiya sonia gandhi ne vikas kiya hai kya vikas kiya nal lagwaya solar light lagwaya gaon sadke banwaya इतना एजुकेशन के लेवल पे इतना काम नहीं हुआ है जितने इंस्टीट्यूशन इतने बड़े बड़े नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन यहाँ पर हैं जो और किसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में नहीं है वो सब कांग्रेस पार्टी की ही देन है सोनिया सिटेडल ऑफ रायबरेली एमर्ज द कांग्रेस सोल सीट फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश इन द 2019 इलेक्शन अ क्रशिंग फॉल एंड हाउ फ्रॉम द हाइस ऑफ 1984 For the BJP, 2024 offers the tantalizing opportunity to claim the final, last bastion of the Gandhis. This Uttar Pradesh ne Nehru Gandhi parivar ki char pidiyon ko sansad chunkar bheja, aur Shri Man Rahul Gandhi ne jab Vaynard se jeete, to uske baad Uttar Pradesh ke logon ki budhi par hi prashan chin khada kar diya. बदले में ये दिया था अब की बार तो कांग्रेस का खाता भी नहीं खुलेगा पर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर दैट सोनिया गांधी स्टेप डाउन फ्रॉम रायबरेली अनडिफीटेड एंड कंप्लीटली ऑन हर ओन टर्म्स फ्रेल हेल्थ फोर्सिंग हर टू सीक द लेस डिमांडिंग कन्फाइंस ऑफ द राज्यसभा तुम्हें गर्व है कि जिसने प्रधानमंत्री पद छोड़ दिया हो वो एक महान नेता और कि वो किसी राज्य में जाके बन सकती थी राज्यसभा मेंबर उन्होंने चयन किया अगर राजस्थान का तो आप पूछ सकते हो कि हम सबके लिए कितने बड़े गर्व की बात है भारत सरकार एन गवर्नमेंट आज बनी हुई है उनके भी कान खड़े होंगे सोनिया गांधी जी का रिश्ता एज ए राज्यसभा मेंबर राजस्थान से हैं इन एन इमोशनल लेटर टू द पीपल ऑफ रायबरेली 
Sonia Gandhi promised to come back to the place which made her what she is today. But after decades of Gandhi family rule, could it be that it was also the fear of a direct loss that compelled Sonia to leave while she was still in control? In Raiburele now, there's a void of uncertainty. If not Sonia, then who? पहले इमोशनल बयान, फिर नरेंद्र मोदी से सीधे सवाल, और अब नरेंद्र मोदी और अमित शाह पर तीखा हमला। 2014 के लिहाज से कांग्रेस के लिए सियासी ऊपर खबर कही जा रही सड़क पर प्रियंका गांधी रफ्तार बढ़ाने के लिए लगातार गियर बदल रही हैं। The question for the Congress here in Raiburili is that with Sonia Gandhi going via the Raj Sabha route, who will take her space? Who will take the baton from her? क्या मूड बन रहा है Raiburili में? साल के 365 दिन, हफ्ते के सातों दिन यहाँ पर कांग्रेस का ही मूड रहता है। कांग्रेस ने यहाँ पे काम किया है, बहुत काम किया है Raiburili में। एम्स दिया, आईटीआई दिया, रेल कोच कारखाना दिया, पहिया कारखाना दिया, एफडीडीआई दिया, फिरोज गांधी डिग्री कॉलेज दिया, सब कुछ रैबली में कांग्रेस ने दिया, सोनिया जी ने दिया। प्रियंका गांधी वाड्रा अगर लड़ेंगी तो कुछ मिजाज बने। निश्चित ही जीत प्रियंका वाड्रा की ही होगी। पिछले चार साल कमल किला था 2024 में रायबरेली में भी कमल किलेगा और रायबरेली सीट गांधी परिवार हारेगी इस बार कांग्रेस का कोई भी प्रत्याशी यहां से आएगा हम लोग उसको उसी तरह भागेंगे जैसे अमेठी की इंसान ने राहुल गांधी जी को भगाया था रायबरेली शासकी से सबसे पिछड़ा क्षेत्र था इनका इतने दिनों से यहाँ की प्रधानमंत्री भी रह चुकी इंदिरा गांधी तब से अब तक कुछ नहीं हुआ और उम्मीद भी नहीं की जाती आने वाले समय में बीजेपी रायबली का विकास नहीं विनाश करने के लिए आएगी अगर बीजेपी आएगी तो इसलिए हम सभी भाइयों और साथियों का मानना है कांग्रेस यहाँ के लिए बेटर है और सर्वोत्तम है। If I were to look for a relatively safe seat for the Congress, it would be Raiburili. Therefore, you would expect Priyanka Gandhi to choose Raiburili if she is to make her political debut. But the BJP, even in Raiburili, intends to make an uh, extra effort to try and defeat whoever is the Congress candidate, whether it's a Gandhi family member or a non-Gandhi family member. Remember in assembly elections in UP last time, it's the BJP which dominated Amethi Rai Bareli. So Rai Bareli too can no longer be called a safe seat for the Congress. K sara sara, whatever will be, will be as the famous song goes. But Rai Bareli isn't the only bastion of suspense. There's a question mark over a Methi as well. The seat may have been handsomely won by BJP Smriti Rani in her second attempt in 2019. But a clamour has once again kicked off within the Congress for Rahul Gandhi to at least attempt a mission ghar vapsi in a Methi. So the high point or the climax of the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra where Rahul Gandhi who lost a Amethi in 2019 is back in what was once the traditional bastion of the Gandhi family. It was a rumbling homecoming of sorts. A king, if you will, who was vanquished from his own kingdom, returning on a yatra after five years. लेंगे बदला देंगे खून भैया बिना अमेठी सुन क्योंकि अमेठी की शान अमेठी जान किसानों का मसीहा The message was unmistakable and yet filled with that traditional Congress intrigue. पूर्व सांसद राहुल गांधी का स्वागत करेंगे और दिल से करेंगे और प्रियंका जी मेरी आ रही हैं वो उनको देने के लिए मैं बोली हूँ। 
उनसे कहेंगे कि आप पुनः अमेठी से चुनाव लड़िए चुनाव में आइए हम लोग जिता करके पाँच लाख वोट लाख वोट से अपनी जिता करके सांसद भेजेंगे Rahul hasn't really been a familiar sight in Amethi since 2019, since his defeat. But he has been the member of parliament for this constituency for 15 years. That's three terms. And so, for the locals today, there's a sense of deja vu. Hark back there to a young Rahul Gandhi taking forward his family legacy from his uncle Sanjay Gandhi from 1980 in Amethi. लेकिन emergency ने सत्ता की ताकत ऐसे आदमी के हाथों में पहुंचा दी जिसे गैर जिम्मेदार, घमंडी और बदले की भावना से भरे व्यक्ति के रूप में देखा जाता था. Many here remember the churn of that time. After emergency was lifted in 1977, fresh elections were called. Indira chose to fight from Raibareli where she already had a secure base and her younger son Sanjay opted for Amethi. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कांग्रेस का गढ़ था Amethi. कांग्रेस विचारधारा थी लोगों ने आग्रह किया अनुरोध किया कि माँ बेटे अगल बगल से लड़ें तो दोनों ने Raibareli वो लड़ नहीं थी तो संजय जी ने Amethi से पर ज़्यादा की तो कुल मिला के अगर आप देखें तो एक परिवारिक रिश्ता है दोनों में दोनों को अलग करके देखा ही नहीं जा सकता देर इज अव ऑफ सिंपति अव ऑफ सपोर्ट फॉर इंदिरा विच ब्रॉक द गांधी बैक टू बोथ सीट्स एंड दैट टू विद साउंडिंग मार्जिन थिंग्स टू अ ट्रेजिक टर्न जस्ट मंथ्स लेटर वेन संजय गांधी डाइड इन एन एयरप्लेन क्रैश इन डेली A grieving Amethi rewarded the Gandhi family again. This time with Sanjay's older brother Rajiv. It was Rajiv's forced entry essentially into politics in the wake of an unprecedented family tragedy. The airline pilot had to fold away his wings and get right down to business, taking forward his family legacy. Amethi stood loyal to the Gandhis with Rajiv being elected in 1984 and then re-elected in 1989. But in 1991 came another abrupt and tragic upheaval with Rajiv Gandhi's assassination just before the election. Amethi had lost their crown prince but if anything it essentially galvanized the constituency in its loyalty to the family you had rajiv's close aide captain satish sharma taking over and representing amethi till 1998 it's often said that nothing can be taken for granted in politics not bastions not legacies not strongholds this would come true in 1998 when the congress faced the brunt quite simply for complacency as a meti was lost to the vajpay wave that swept uttar pradesh but again not for long captain saab uh chunaul lore the sitting mp wahi the rajju ji ke baad unhi ko banaya gaya tha shayad us janta ke apekshaon pe khare nahi utre aur jaise hi sunya ji aayi har ghar mein diwali manai gayi eid manai gayi aur logon ne haathon haath unko le liye lakhon se jeetna hai you know sonia gandhi's entry into politics first she contested from bellari if you will recall in south india and karnataka uh, she wins uh, that seat against sushma swaraj but i think sonia gandhi was intelligent enough to realize that if she had to establish family control or her dominance over the congress she needed to win in north india and amethi in particular it would then signal that the baton had been passed in a way from rajiv gandhi her late husband to her which is why i think she chose to contest that 1999 election after only a few months amethi welcomed back a gandhi family member with open arms and just to understand the magnitude of that victory Sonia managed over 4 lakh votes out of the 6 lakh that voted in Amethi that year. Okay. 
enforced during this term, this was between 1999 to 2004, that a young and reclusive Rahul Gandhi emerged in public and appeared for campaigns in the shadow of his mother. The question was not if, but when. You have to feel it if you want to do it, at the right time you do it. I don't think pressure is really an issue. You can't really be pressurized. But clearly you are not the type who is averse to politics. Is that true? Uh, I'm not averse to politics, but that doesn't mean I'm going to join politics. Do you think that Rahul Gandhi will be able to keep the pressure on Rahul Gandhi? Rahul will be able to keep the pressure on Rahul Gandhi. Do you think that Rahul Gandhi will be able to keep the pressure on Rahul Gandhi? No, I don't think so. 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 That time would be sooner than anyone thought. Sonia, who had enjoyed a resounding victory, quickly made way for her son in the 2004 general elections. A veritable red carpet rolled out for the new generation Gandhi. I'm not looking at the challenge here as an election. Uh, elections come and go here. It's not, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. The challenge here is a much bigger challenge of development and of looking after the people and understanding what they want. So it is a, there is a huge challenge here. आपने अमेठी सीट क्यों छोड़ दी रायबरेली से लड़ना क्यों ठीक समझ नहीं? क्योंकि अमेठी एक क्षेत्र है जो राजीव जी का क्षेत्र था और राहुल क्योंकि राहुल चुनाव लड़ने का निर्णय लिया तो सभी ने हम लोग ने बात छेद किया और अपने परिवार के बीच में और ये तय हुआ कि शायद अमेठी राहुल जी के लिए ठीक रहेगा। तो क्या आप अपनी जगह राहुल गांधी को देने की कोशिश कर रही हैं? ऐसा सिंबल की बात नहीं है। वैसे पिता उनके पिता पिताजी की की जगह है। तो इसको किस तरीके से काउंटर किया जाएगा? आखरी क्वेश्चन लोग लोग तय करेंगे। after all, this was Rajiv's son, and they felt indebted to the Gandhi Parivar. Suru mein aisa laga ki Rahul Gandhi ka naamang kan saadgi bhara hoga. Lekin jab Munshi Gandhi ke staus se Sonia Gandhi aur Rahul Gandhi nikle, to karma bharta gaya, log jutte gaye. Aisa naamang kan maine kabi apne jindagi mein aisa nahi dekha tha. Aur aise sasvi aur tej patapir umidwar Amethi ke is Amethi ke umidwar bane hai. Aisa hai ki yahan pe unke takkar ka koi neta hai nahi rajneet mein naam se unke parivar se hi kafi hai. In 10 years, from being Rajiv and Sonia's son, Rahul Gandhi slowly carved his own identity, becoming Amethi's famous prince, loved and adored. There was no match for Rahul, at least in terms of votes. So, the one thing was the government of the country, after 1989, कांग्रेस की तो वहाँ का जो राज्य से विकास था वो कमजोर पड़ा और जब वो कमजोर पड़ा तो ऐसा लगा जैसे जो एक गति थी एक स्पीड थी वो कहीं न कहीं ढीली पड़ी तो प्रतिनिधि को उसकी कीमत चुकानी पड़ती है but the opposition kept the dinnest charge on him all through, lining his rule of Amethi with derisive attacks that would run like a background score, essentially. I believe that this word is incorrect. This is not a dynasty. We have won and we have lost democratically. Through several waves, big and small, Apart from the 1998 loss, of course, Amethi had stood as a Gandhi fortress, almost invincible, almost. 
किस तरह का राजीव गांधी जब सांसद थे तो क्या फर्क था और क्या जुड़ाव था उनका जनता से क्या वही जुड़ाव अभी नजर आता है राहुल गांधी का या वक्त बदला राजीव गांधी की ही वजह से जो है मिठी की पहचान बनी राहुल गांधी जी जैसे आते हैं आकर के ऐसे घूम करके वापस लौट जाते हैं और जब वो यहाँ से सांसद थे तब भी उन्होंने मतलब कभी जनता से दूरी उन्होंने बना करके रखी राहुल गांधी उसी राजीव गांधी या वंशवाद का फायदा मिठी में उठाया काम तो कुछ नहीं हुआ योजनाएं तो बहुत बनी लेकिन योजनाओं का क्रियान्वयन नहीं हुआ देखिए सियासी समीकरण अमेठी भावनाओं का खेल है और भावनात्मक जुड़ाव यहाँ के लोगों को गांधी परिवार से रहा है लेकिन उस भावनात्मक जुड़ाव में दूरियाँ अगर देखी जाए तो राहुल गांधी के सत्ता पक्ष का जो दस वर्ष का कार्यकाल रहा है उसमें कहीं ना कहीं अमेठी के लोगों को दूरी बना दी है In the lead up to the 2014 elections it was no longer a saffron wave it was the Narendra Modi wave that was capturing the imagination of voters and finally after years the Gandhi parivar had a heavy hitting challenger Q Smriti Rani Rahul Gandhi's leadership is defined by the state of his constituency which right now faces many a challenges he's out only when it's convenient for him when he wants to fight in the election when he wants to gain something for himself or his organization or his family naam ko to bada vote diya ab kaam ko vote dijiye amethi had been won easily thus far by the gandhis but in 2014 they had a real fight on their hands in the form of the tough talking former tv star who had carved an aggressive place for herself in modi's bjp wo rahul gandhi wo congress party jo desh mein ja kar vikas par bhashan deti hai wo itne aksham hai ki apne hi sansadiya kshetra mein vikas ka kaam nahi kar pate hain smriti rani fought to the nail against what the bjp had branded the congress is shehzada राहुल Five years later, I remember Amit Shah who was in charge of the campaign saying, "Hum unko waha bhi takkar denge. We will give them a fight even in their bastion." And that's exactly what happened. You suddenly raised the pitch. Generally, the feeling was the opposition gave a soft ride to the Gandhis in Amethi Rai Bareilly. Not after the BJP rose under Modi Shah, they went into the battleground and gave the Congress a fright. It should have been a wake-up call. The word "never" in Indian politics. make terrible bad fellows and the next 5 years would prove exactly why both rahul and smriti grew in stature rahul being elevated as the president of the congress while smriti who was rewarded with a cabinet berth in the new modi government and empowered to keep the heat on amethi for the first time possibly a national president of a national political party is embarrassed that his own karyakartas are saying run Rahul versus Priti 2.0 became the inevitable headline on the road to the 2019 general election. Having tasted blood 5 years before, Smriti Rani this time was battle ready and clearly going for the kill. Defeating Rahul Gandhi in Amethi in 2019 was the making of Smriti Rani. Uh, until then she was seen as a TV soap opera star who had made it into politics taken the Rajya Sabha route but by taking on Rahul Gandhi and defeating him in Amethi she automatically became a giant killer much like Raj Narayan had become in 77 when he defeated Indira Gandhi in Raipur Rahul's sudden decision months before the elections to compete not from one but from two seats Amethi and Wayanad was a dead giveaway a sure sign of who really had the upper hand in amethi even the congress clearly felt the fortress was in peril uh it is unfortunate that it's unexpected in politics that you would lose and you would still come back but i had a promise to keep uh, is it personally especially to 3 lakh people who voted for me in 20 days for 3 lakh people to believe in you that is a huge blessing i can only say people with political resolve always jump into the fire they don't run from it and in may 2019 that fortress fell an epic face off it's prithvi rani winning the seat by over 50000 votes and to the gandhi family 
send Rahul Gandhi back to fight the Lok Sabha election in 2024 from Amethi and he will lose again. That is my promise as a BJP worker. Well, here we are now in 2024. And Smriti isn't the only one waiting for Rahul's decision. Even sections of his party believe that he should step up and fight to reclaim Amethi. But will he accept the challenge? The other question that's being asked is that Rahul was in Amethi. Mr. Kharge also talked about his connect with Amethi and how the people of Amethi were missing him. Political survival of Rahul Gandhi, reclaiming the legacy of he your family. Stay. He will decide. He will, it, you know, it's up to him. And this Central Election Committee, the Congress President, uh, Srimadhi Sonia Gandhi, leader of the Congress Parliamentary Party, they will take a collective call. I mean, obviously, yesterday when the rally was taking place, I talked to a large number of people uh, and they all said that we made a mistake in 2019 we want rahul gandhi back rahul gandhi gandhi parivar gandhi parivar koi aadmi ameethi ke jata tha uska sirf itna parche kisi ke yahan chala jaye ki main ameethi se aa raha hu to usko special status milta tha wo sab khatam उस सिमट के रह गई है भाजपा वहां पे कुछ खास लोगों में जनता का लगाव नहीं था स्टेक स्टैक्ड अगेंस्ट देम द विनेबिलिटी रेशियो डू यू थिंक इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी इज हाई फॉर राहुल गांधी हैज बीन एमपी 3 टाइम्स फ्रॉम हियर ही लॉस्ट 2019 बाय मार्जिन ऑफ 55000 इन एन इलेक्ट्रेट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट 10 लाख्स सो एंड देयर इज अ कनेक्ट देयर इज अ देयर इज टुडे देयर इज अ डिजायर फॉर पीपल टू बी रीकनेक्टेड uh, as I said, in Raibareli, people, everybody I talk to is talking of uh, Priyanka Ji's name. In Amethi, people are talking of Rahul. But you know, this is incidental to the Bharat Jodo Yatra. The focus of the Bharat Jodo Yatra is not to search for candidates. It's, it's to take the ideological message, which Rahul Gandhi is repeating in meeting after meeting after meeting. Look, we need to fight Rahul Ji and Rahul Gandhi. We will fight with Amethi. Rahul Gandhi Ji is the name of Rahul Gandhi. वो भावनात्मक है व्यक्तिगत है वो अमेठी को परिवार कहते हैं और मानते भी हैं। अमेठी में कमल का फूल दोबारा खिलेगा या फिर आपको लगता है कि पंजा जो है उसका सिक्का चलेगा किसी हालत में स्मृति ईरानी जी नहीं जीत रहा है किसी हालत में वापस कांग्रेस यहाँ जीतेगा और भारी बहुमत से जीतेगा अमेठी का जनता राहुल गांधी जी और कांग्रेस पार्टी के साथ रहेगा मैं 2019 में बीजेपी का वोटर हूं, भूतपूर्व अंधभक्त हूं। अगर आप कह लें तो मैं दशकों से नहीं जुड़ा हूं कांग्रेस से मैं बीजेपी का वोटर रह चुका हूं, भूतपूर्व अंधभक्त हूं, लेकिन जो अन्याय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने किया है इस देश के साथ जो अन्याय जो उन्होंने छला है हमको उसको लेकर के हम राहुल भैया के साथ हैं राहुल गांधी अमेठी के बेटा हैं वहाँ यहाँ पर उनको जो है राजनेता के रूप में नहीं देखती अपने भाई अपने बेटे के रूप में देखती है और वो कांग्रेस के शेर हैं यहाँ का नौजवान यहाँ का महिलाएं सारे लोग जो है राहुल गांधी के के साथ कंधों से कंधा मिला करके 2024 में हम लोग चुनाव बम्पर वोट से जिता करके इसमें इसमेंटी रिंग क्वेश्चन बट स्मृति सबसे उम्दा काम दीदी स्मृति ईरानी करा 2014 के बाद जब यहाँ वो लड़ने आई दुर्भाग्य से 2014 नहीं जीत पाई लेकिन बराबर पाँच साल 2019 तक वो लगातार यहाँ संपर्क में रही हर महीने आती रही 24 में तो और बड़े मतों से जीतने जा रही हैं जो कांग्रेस की हवा है वो तो निकल चुकी है पूरे देश से जब चार पार है तो उसमें अमेठी भी शामिल रहेगा आपको लगता है की राहुल गांधी जीत सकता है नहीं जीत सकते हैं उनको जनता ने नकार दिया है एक बार बहुत बड़े अंतर से हराया पचपन हजार से और ये डेढ़ लाख का अंतर होने जा रहा है तीन सौ उनसठ दिन बाद अब की राहुल गांधी अमेठी आ रहे हैं हमें तो कांग्रेसियों के ऊपर तरस आता है ये बेचारे कहते हैं राहुल जी लड़ जाइए लड़ जाइए और राहुल जी डर के मारे अमेठी भाग छोड़ के भाग जाते हैं वायनाड उसके बाद इनका पंचलाइन कह लेंगे बदला देंगे खून बदला किससे लेंगे अमेठी की जनता से जिसको अपना घर कहते हैं उससे बदला लेंगे आपने सियासत के कई दौर देखे अमेठी की जनता के लिए क्या बदला आज की डेट में पहली बात तो हमारे नेता जो हैं वो उपलब्ध हैं यहाँ स्मृति ईरानी जो है सांसद हैं और वो मौके पर हर आदमी के लिए सुलभ हैं कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता देखते हैं कि राहुल गांधी प्रधानमंत्री अमेठी से बनेंगे अब संभव नहीं जब तक आदमी कुछ मेहनत नहीं करेगा काम नहीं करेगा अपनी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी के लिए तब तक वो क्या आगे बढ़ेगा खाली आप दिल्ली में रहोगे बाहर रहोगे छः महीना आउट ऑफ कंट्री तो कई क्या पब्लिक कैसा आपके 
वो करेगी कैसे आपको सपोर्ट करेगी इंडस्ट्री के नाम पर वहाँ पर केवल खंडहर खड़े रहे आज की तारीख में जो विकास हो रहा है ऐसा विकास अमेठी ने कभी नहीं देखा जबकि ये वी क्षेत्र रहा है इतनी आवास मिले हैं बिना जाति बिरादरी का भेद किए आवास मिला है कि इतना काम कभी अमेठी में नहीं हुआ है सर कैन राहुल गांधी रिक्लेम और इवन फॉर दैट मैटर गो अहेड एंड फाइट फॉर लॉस टेरिटरी इन अमेठी विल ही टेक ऑन स्मृति ईरानी वेल विल नो सुन इनफ बट ऑल्सो वॉट अबाउट राय बरेली विल द पीपल ऑफ राय बरेली हैव टू लुक बियॉन्ड अ गांधी विल दे हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ एक्चुअली गोइंग अहेड एंड वोटिंग फॉर अ गांधी दिस टाइम the only way that's going to happen is if priyanka gandhi really steps into the game and decides that she's going to enter into electoral politics as well and goes ahead and steps into the shoes of her mother takes forward her mother's legacy all these questions will continue but the answer at the end of the day as always lies in india's bristling election week